Thanks, Mandeep. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. We just got over with our welcome session, but that's just the beginning. What matters is the business side of it, isn't it? And who best, and what best, than the men who led us, who saved this country for decades long, and they'll be here. They'll be here not talking about technology, but rather sharing with you their experience of how combat has evolved over decades while they served, how they see it going forward, and why is it important for us to embrace these evolving technologies. We, we've seen Nokia. It refused to innovate, and it got wiped out. But defense cannot effort to do so. Because if defense refuses to innovate and invent, it's not the defense that will get wiped out, it's the national sovereignty. And we have tasted that very much. And that's why India did have a colonial past. Who led the defense forces, the army, the navy, the air force. And I, it's, it's a matter of great prestige for me as the convener of the steering committee to invite them to the panel. And I'll first invite Major General Pawan Anand, who will be the moderator for this event, to the dais. May I request Major General Pawan Anand to please come to the stage. I'd next take this opportunity to invite A. Marshal Chopra, who is Director General Caps, to come and take a seat. I'd request Lieutenant General Pannu, who is also the chairperson of the steering committee for the think tank on the artificial and defense panel. I'd now request Lieutenant General Sunil Srivastava, who is Director General St. George, to come and take his place. And finally, I'd also take this opportunity to request Major General B.K. Sharma, who is Director of the United Services Institution, which is the oldest institution in this country. It was formed 150 years back. And today, that old institution has stepped up along with We'll be announcing this partnership in due course and he will be representing USI on the panel. I'll now hand over the mic to Major General Pavan Anand, who will conduct this session for us and enlighten the audience as to why it is important for the defense to embrace artificial intelligence, how we plan to do, what the vision is, what the roadmaps are, and how we're we going to get there. Ladies and gentlemen, please put in your hands to this august gathering here in the panel. Thank you one and all.